get started. Well, thank you again for allowing um, us to interview you. You're our first guest speaker that we're interviewing on a video. Um, it's just kudos to our marketing team and our executive committee for getting us to this place and supporting the marketing efforts of UMAC. So um, first, I'd love to hear from you um, in your new role as president and CEO of the Alumni Association, Ayana. Uh, what is the importance of alumni to a university? Well, first, I have to say thank you, Julie, and to our um, esteemed volunteers at the Alumni Council um, for the University of Michigan. Um, and part of my answer is, you know, alum volunteers, but really all of our alumni community are um, just the lifeblood of our organization. I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am to be speaking with the Alumni Council in October. Um, I'm excited to share, you know, about the vision um, of the association, but more importantly, to just reflect on all of the traditions and legacy of the Alumni Council. Um, and I really see this as an opportunity to have an open dialogue um, with the Alumni Council because, you, you know, our alum cons constituents are so important. Um, I just want to share, you know, when President Ono and the administration embarked on their vision 2034 strategic planning, they talked to about 25,000 stakeholders. The majority of them were alum. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that alum are still contributing to the vision and the future of this university, I think is so important. And, you know, whether you graduated two years ago, 22 years ago, 52 years ago, there's just such a feeling of ownership that alumni have um, with the University of Michigan. And so it is a reason why we're able to make this place better every day. So alum are truly important. Alumni are um, an important stakeholder group, um, community members, leaders. And so I'm just really excited to spend time with this important group in the fall. And we're excited to have you. <laughs> and I think you're talking about your thinking about your speech being a, looking mm -hmm. at the past and looking at the future, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we definitely always want to honor the past, but really unite for where we want to go in the future. We can't go far if we go alone, but we can go together um, very far. And so I'm really excited to talk about how we can do that, but not just talk about it to listen as well. And what does it mean to you uh, in your role when you see alumni or alumni like us, all of us Michigan women gather? What does that mean to you? Well, you know, in the last 10 months since my appointment, um, I've had a chance to spend time in conversations, some with alumni council members one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. Um, it was actually really great to have alumni council present at homecoming last yeah. fall at the tailgate and, I, you know, spend some time with the ladies at the table there. Um, but whether, you know, I am talking to alum at the Pan-Asia reunion or in our different cities across the country, um, the collective is that people really want to do good together on behalf of the university. Um, our alum are incredibly motivated. They're very engaged. One example that I just want to share today with you, Julie, is, you know, every spring in May during commencement, we ask our alumni um, communities and clubs to embark on community service project. And this year, when we looked at Metrics. I mean, there were thousands of food, um, that pounds of food that were collected. People were working together in parks. I think across 37 different cities, alum were, you know, gathered. And they weren't just reminiscing about their times at the university, but they were actually doing good in their community. So one of the things that inspires me is the notion that alumni are not um, just invested in helping the university advance, but also making a difference in the communities where they live. Right. Right. And what does it mean to you? I mean, here's another aspect. You're talking about alumni, and I know that mm -hmm. alumni, and I know that's your role, but we're pretty partial to the Michigan woman and the alumni. So what does it mean to you as another woman to see yes. Michigan women, our alumni, gather together at in-person events like this? It's really special. Um, I just have to tell you um, a bit of a teaser from my, you know, speech in in the fall, but this group has been particularly um, wonderful um, and really thoughtful to me. You know, when I was named as acting president, um, I just wanted to share today, I received the most beautiful blanket yeah. from the alumni council with the loveliest note. Um, and it's just those moments 
where whether it's just a small token that's that has your heart poured into it or just an encouraging email, it means a lot for me to be a part of this group and really for us to be in the room together and to have conversation to really lift each other up um, and brainstorm on how we can work together on behalf of the university and this you know rich organization that has been led by our alumni for so long. So I personally can't wait to be with everybody on October 19th. Yeah, we're looking forward to it too. So thank you for your time today. I hope everyone will buy tickets to hear yes. us speak in October at our fall um, business meeting. It'll be wonderful. And uh, to see you in person, like I said, to see you in person versus a portrait or over this flat screen, it'll be fantastic. So I hope everybody will buy their tickets for October 19th. Yes, please join us and go blue. All right, go blue. And we'll see you in October, Anna. Thank you okay, for your time. Okay, take care. Absolutely. Bye -bye.